Big old bad, mean and frisky. That's what happens when you turn 60. Happy birthday, honey. 60 ain't so bad. You're turning 60. <laughs> hey, Uncle Jeff. I heard it's your birthday. Your 60th birthday. Hey, Uncle Jeffy. It's your favorite niece. I heard it was your birthday. My dearest, dearest Uncle Jeffrey, I hear it's your 60th birthday. And You're only 60. That's great news. Big old bat, mean and frisky. That's what happens when you turn 60. Hey, Jeff, Lori said we should roast you for your birthday. Hey, old man. Turning 60. That's pretty old. That number of candles on your cake should already roast you pretty well. If I were you, I would not go ahead and share with people that you're 6 old. I haven't met a rock that has lived as long as you have. Another good thing about being 60 is in a hostage situation, you'll likely be released first. I'll ask for scuttles. Big old bad, mean and frisky. That's what happens when you turn 60 seem that long or you're that old. Oh well, you're only as old as you look. You must be at least a hundred. Give you a heads up that even though you look 70, you outlived the Berlin Wall. Oh, won't you say I don't believe you? Please ask for my ID. Please ask for my ID. As the wrinkles set in just a little deeper and the baldness just gets a little balder. Are you going to fart and snore even louder? <laughs> you know, it started out with the tattoos. My favorite, though, had to be the frog on your arm. Did you have to iron your birthday suit? Uh, who'd have known from that tattoo? I must really be wrinkled by now. But where, oh, where have your muscles gone? And you have also lived through the election of both Barack Obama and Donald Trump. You gotta smile. I think that's rule one, maybe two. Big old bad, mean and frisky. That's what happens when you turn 16. I have found the following pieces of information. These are, some of them are very curious and I do want you to consider them. Annual pool privilege at the 308 Flintlock Drive establishment. Lucky for you, Haley jeans are basically perfect. Well, our looks fade, our hair grays. And your gardening skills are still great. You can use them on my yard. Does it mean your dad jokes are going to get even worse? Very good hugs. You have a harder time parking the car. You have a very peculiar walk. Every time I see your fingers and how you lose control. You have a bit of a pigeon toe. We have seen your toes. You should really have a pedicure and paint them green. I've actually seen how much you can sweat. Big old bad, mean and frisky. That's what happens when you turn 60. Your life is longer than Bob Dylan's music career. So I figured I would uh, send you a quick message um, and rub it in your face a little bit. In high school, he set the trend of drugs. LSD. But he got so involved in his look. I always thought you were literally one of the coolest uncles, you know? You just always had the coolest style. We saw you in your big black Chrysler. That is one fine muscle car. Strut your stuff. Four wheels off the ground jumping railroad tracks. Yes, I do remember that. Don't deny it. But I like it. It's good. You got some style. We think you're really great. Uncle Jeff proved to be quite an artist, too, when we were going on uh, lunch outings with Nan. His ripped jeans and his hippie hair. That couldn't have been any better. You have that perfect gene. He started to question his own sexuality. When I asked him about it, he pretty much just laughed it off. And he said, come on, Kevin, you know better than that. I've never been in the in an earthquake before, and you made that happen. Uh, with that comes a few other perks, but we'll get into those at another time. 
Uh, but let's just say gin and other libations may be involved in that. I have a younger wife after all. But then the next thing you know, he joins the Navy. Uh, of note, it is good to know uh, how long you've come since being on the band uh, Village People. I know you were instrumental in that song, In the Navy, which uh, kind of prompted you to go in the Navy. I'm trying to figure out if he can find some guys just like him that like to dress like him. Man whore. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Well, you are definitely old enough. But I do have to say, we have had some good times. Like putting together the shelving in your garage. I used to get so jealous of him that I, that I could hardly contain myself. You're so much fun. He continued his love for fashion. In fact, Daisy Dukes and a belly shirt? Uncle Jeff. Oh my god. And I have to say, it's not a pretty sight. Bald. Back hair. Ear hair. I thought, man, this guy is a pretty cool dude. But over the years, I see how you've proven me wrong. It's a sign that you've been living with Uncle Jeff for a while. In 1960, the Food and Drug Administration approved birth control for general use. Maybe a couple years too late. Who knows? All the stupid stuff you've done in the past, when you were younger, was before the internet. Big old bad, mean and frisky. That's what happens when you turn 60. 1977, Apple introduced the Apple II, the first prominent personal computer. You have been living longer. Jeff was the inspiration for the Super Mario Brothers game. The one person that I can talk to about technical stuff and not get bored, so that's good. You have way too many electronics in your, your little room over there. We were concerned when we heard you have a stalker. Is it AARP? You were 20 years old when that happened. We really love what you've done with your hair. How did you get it to come out of your nostrils like that? Your nose has grown to hold the extra hair. And when somebody leaves a sexy message written in lipstick on your rear view mirror, you're probably just going to think of how to clean it off. Whatever is making you so stupid is really working. And when you're looking around for your eyeglasses and you don't know where they are, they're, they're usually right, right there. Your favorite four-letter word is now a fart. And now that you're 60, you can really start yelling at the television. In fact, did you know that when you turn 60, you get to get up and pee two more times a night? You don't have as many troubles, but it's only because you can't remember what they are. You can never totally, completely trust a fart. The two most important things in your life are bowel movements <laughs> and nose hair. Perfect specimens. So. You worry less about the little things and can worry more about the big things like the fart. You also know that you tend to forget just a few more things like who you are and where you're going. And it's funny that he never realized that I was sticking a boogie on him. You're starting to tell people things they really shouldn't hear. Don't no. worry about it. Big old bad, mean and frisky. That's what happens when you turn 60. We noticed on a recent picture that your hairline has receded. We needed binoculars to see it. Oh my God, are you turned 60, Jeff Fay. Don't you know that it's so, so true? Oh my God, are you turned 60, Jeff Fay? Don't you know that it's never be new? Happy 60th birthday, Jeff Haley, from Chris, part of the Wolf Pack here at 308 Flintlock. Woo! Happy 60th, brother, you skankity skank, skank, skank. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jeff! Jeff.
You are truly marvelous. With you and your lovely wife in that time. Happy birthday, Jeff. I feel so lucky and so blessed to call you my uncle. And I hope you have the bestest birthday ever. I wish I could be there. I love you and I miss you. And you're forever in my heart. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jeff. So enjoy this time. Know that we love you and want you to have a fantastic day. Happy birthday. Enjoy. Happy birthday. All right. Love you, buddy. Boy, happy birthday. Love you, bud. Sincerely, I do hope you have a very happy birthday. I wish I could celebrate it with you. Happy, happy birthday. Bye. Uncle Jeff. Oh, my God. Love you. Happy 60th birthday. Hey, Jeff. It's, it's us. We just want to wish you a happy <laughs> 60th birthday, all three of us. Happy birthday. Bye. Yeah. Not bye. Oh. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Now bye. <laughs> now bye. <laughs> I love you. I hope you have a great birthday, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. I love you, honey. Happy 60th. Good today. You're turning 60. Ha, 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 No more, Mr. 59. <laughs> happy birthday.